Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're here at the Claremont Collection. I'm here with Andrew Vogel. Good to see you, Lou. Vice President of Marketing Sales here at the Collection. And uh, today's a special treat. We get to come on in. Why is it so special? Tell us, first of all, about the Claremont Collection. Right, so here we are in a 100,000 plus square foot museum with over 300 automobiles, private, um, but open for uh, you know large groups and corporate events and things like that. So come see us at ClaremontCollections.org. Two K's there, ClaremontCollections.org. Um, we're here with Lou. Fortunately, you get to see some of these cars today. Though we have a really special one, yes. a Rolls Royce, a 1927 Phantom One Rolls Royce. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, let me grab the cameras. I usually do because uh, can't wait to get to this one. Let me take it off the stand. And wow, what do we have here? You shared a Rolls Royce. You know, it's always, you know, you think of the, the rich and famous when you think of Rolls Royce. And tell me about this one. Yeah, so this one, in 1927, it was really the first one of the, the redesigned Phantom One. Uh, it took the place of what they called the new Phantom, which really took the place of the Silver Ghost. Same chassis um, in many ways, and yet different and improved in so many others, drivetrain being one of them. Um, this one was originally bodied by the company called Hooper, Hooper Coachworks. Uh, and, and then somewhere in its life, it was rebodied, which often happened with these cars. They were, uh, the bodies were interchangeable, and as they changed owners, the, owners uh, the new owner would want something different in the body, and so they would literally fabricate a whole new body take the old one off and drop the new one on. And so that's what happened to this one. So it was rebodied by the company called Barker. Now there's another thing about this car that really you should know, and that is that there were, uh, there were two places Rolls Royces were built in the world. England, of course, the other one was America. Really? For a brief period, this car was one of those that was built in Springfield, Massachusetts. Um, interesting because it's, it retains its right-hand drive. Um, other cars that were built in Springfield, Massachusetts, um, of course, had the typical U.S. left-hand drive. But this one retained its right-hand drive, um, and and you'll see uh, you'll see the placard when we get inside. But only 1,250 of these cars were built, uh, and there's only one like this one. This one they call a Brome Deville limousine, and you'll see when we get to the uh, to the cabin area how it's. Different, you know. The driver has uh, certainly the, an open air feel when he when he's behind the wheel. Wow! Look at the look at where we're going here. Look at this. Oh my goodness! All right. Yeah. So here here we are in the driver's compartment, and you see it's just a fabric roof, um, as it were, just a top uh, to keep the driver out of the elements. How do you get in this thing if you're the driver? Yeah, very carefully. <laughs> You'd okay, have there's to the reach handle. inside, right? Reach inside. So this is all part of the custom body, and there's no hardware on the outside, and that's just the way the owner wanted it. They wanted it sleek and, and uh, you know, on, on the exterior up front, and then you'll see how the, the, uh, the passenger compartment is yet again a different proposition. Look at all the details there on this one to start it. This particular car has won many awards at Concours competition across the country. Uh, the Classic Car uh, Association, uh, sorry, club, has also um, given it distinction as a first place winner, too. Wow, look at how the glass, you can see the glass separating there. And the windshield wiper, you won't need much windshield wipers right now if you've got it in this position, but. Uh, break here on the side. You have to kind of jump over this to get inside there. Rolls Royce on the pedals. interesting how they did that with, with the controls there. It was really easier to get in the car from the other side exactly. and slide over. <laughs> yeah, right. I think that was the answer. Let's open up the... Uh, let me take a shot of the back for just a moment. So as people can see our limousine here. Wow. And... Uh, Big trunk in the back that opens a beautiful window here. Let's open up the. Uh... And you'll notice on the side here, as you were shooting this, there are no windows on the side, so yeah. it's what they call the blind. And so it was for privacy more than anything else for the for the passengers. 
Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at this that. is uh, linen and silk fabric. Wow. Mm -hmm. Original from the rebody. Look at that. Wow, that's just. And your jump seat here, <clears throat> so it looks like this. And you can drop it down. And look at the woodwork. You can see those jump seats, how close they are to the ground. I can't imagine they were very comfortable to sit on. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, I didn't notice that, but yeah, you're right. There's kind of what you're talking about there. Naturally, you have your gloves on when you get in your Rolls Royce. So there's even a skylight. Oh my goodness, no, I didn't notice that. Thanks for a little, uh, look at that. And it looks like it opens. Yeah, it does, mm -hmm. clearly. Well, that was cool, the first sunroof. Let's uh, let's take a look under the hood. Let me let me just show the back down here too. I don't want to miss some of these pieces. Look at the exhaust, and the tail lights. It's not only the tail lights here, but there's the tail light over here and the, the gas filler. Let's take a look at the car from this angle. Wow. I'll open the hood for you on this Please. Side. We'll look on both sides because they're so different on each side. How heavy is that, Andrew? I'd say it's about 30 pounds. 30 pounds. Mm -hmm. There we are. Look at this. So here's obviously the exhaust side, but I'm noticing it looks like also, is this the intake side? It is the intake side as well, <laughs> correct. As they did in the day. Wow. You know, you see the co-mingling, so intake is, is here, and then intertwined with the exhaust, and actually secured together, which is kind of interesting, too. Yeah. Uh, so it's all together, and the carburation was a, a remarkably complex, difficult-to-tune yeah. arrangement here. I'm just checking to see if there's any writing on there. Maybe the camera can pull out. It doesn't, it doesn't appear to be. Uh, no. No. All right. Let's take a look at the other side. There's the big double R on your valve cover. And the big bar across the front. And the wonderful honey chrome grill at these open and close if you need more heat. And remember, none of that's really chrome, is it? Because it's oh, it's nickel, right? right, it's right, always, right. always nickel. Thank you. Right. Thanks for correcting um, me. But the way they polished it quite often, you wouldn't know the difference. Noticing too, I just didn't notice it at first. But there's this mechanism here connected to this bar that moves your mm -hmm. headlights. Mm -hmm. It goes back to the the driver's compartment. So here you've got this brass horn. It looks like, and your double R there, and this side has your spark plugs, your double R there and your springs. One thing I didn't notice right off the bat, would you mind opening that door one more time? Mm -hmm. Now let's look under, I didn't see the, usually there's a body tag connected with Rolls-Royce and it's either there or it's usually under here. See if it's under here. I've got the coach work, you see. Is it under here somewhere? I think I found it. I'm gonna have to do this. Sadly, people, I like this kind of stuff. There it is. Buried in there. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. That's what I was looking for. Right there. There's some kind of buzzer here too. So. Put the carpet back. Okay. Should I close this up? Yeah, please. Okay, Andrew, stand right next to the yes, sir. beautiful I get the lady car here. Straight yeah, straighten your lady out there. There we go. There we are. Andrew, thanks yeah. again for showing us such a unique, extremely extravagant, beautiful ride.
Thanks so much for being on My Car Story. You bet, Lou. Great to see you, always.